It might not be 7-0 on Sunday, but I'm convinced once again that Liverpool will beat Manchester United. Why? Because they have the better players in every position. Tell me, who would Liverpool take from Man United? Bruno Fernandes, perhaps. I think he would be a star in Liverpool's team, because he has all the qualities you need to be a top player. Right now, however, there is something missing from his game. That is why, from the 22 who line up at kickoff, I'd say the best 11 players will all be in the red of the home team. That was the reason for my confidence in March when, before the game and live on Sky, one or two maybe smiled when I said Liverpool would win by two or three goals. In the end, I was wrong, it was seven. And according to Gary Neville afterwards, Liverpool didn't play well. As a pundit, I enjoyed that day very much. It was one of those games where you came away thinking, wow, I was there. It was such a special day and confirmed what I thought at the time, and still believe now, about the respective quality of the two squads. I played against Man United many times, but we never had it that easy. Not once. They had fabulous players, even though they could never really get close enough to us in the league. Still, it was always a fiercely competitive fixture. They had Brian Robson, don't forget. But, in March, some of their players threw the towel in. After a few goals, they just said, nah, this isn't for me. And this was supposed to be their biggest game of the season, at Anfield. What does that tell you? That would be the concern, if I was a Man United supporter, because they're going to Liverpool now with their season falling apart. Liverpool, meanwhile, have even more confidence than they did then, and the top of the Premier League. Look at the goals scored. Liverpool have 36, Man United 18. That is double and tells you everything about the difference between them. Liverpool have so many players competing to get on the score sheet. Man United are relying on Scott McTominay more than anyone else, and he's a holding midfielder by trade. Goals change the whole atmosphere in a football club. They can camouflage shortcomings. You don't have to play well every week to win matches if you have goal scorers, and that's where Liverpool are at right now. I would make them joint favourites with Manchester City to win the Premier League. They've got players who have done it before, and that helps enormously. They know how it's won. Add that experience to those goals and they will be right there. They are a very, very dangerous team, for any opponent. Contrast that with Man United. They have only beaten opposition currently in the bottom half, other than Fulham, who have jumped to 10th in recent weeks. They're in the top six but without looking capable of beating anyone up there with them, and it's only sides in the bottom six who have scored less than them.
This brings me on to Rasmus Hochland. He cost £72 million in the summer and still hasn't scored in the league. I go back to when his fellow Dane, Christian Eriksen, was asked about him and all he said was that he's quick and very aggressive. I thought that was a telltale sign, because someone who knows him should have been kinder and far more complimentary. I have written a lot about Eric Ten Hag and, having been a manager, I would never call for another to lose their job. But everyone at that club has to look over their shoulder with a new co-owner coming in. It needs a total revamp. The football decisions have left them £1 billion worse off and with this group of players, who simply aren't good enough for where the club should be. Manager-wise, they have tried everything. The serial winners in Louis van Gaal and Jose Mourinho, the club legend in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and now Ten Hag. But it doesn't matter who they have if they continue to sign average players. That is why, for me, Liverpool will beat them again this weekend. Saying all of that, if ever there was a game to resurrect your season and gain confidence, this would be it, winning at Anfield. I just can't see it happening.